Liam, you come face to face with your first challenger, Jimmy Kelly. Did you form any opinions from meeting him? No, I know, I, I know who he is, you know what I mean? I know, I've seen him around and you know, I knew he's been using my name in interviews to maybe get his Twitter followers up or something like that, but you know, leave him to do what, he, what he's good at. You said at the press conference it was wages for Christmas, this fight. Do you see it as a comfortable fight, though? I only see one winner, yeah, 100%, but that doesn't mean to say oh, I'm going to overlook him and I'm not going to train, whatever, you know. I'm in a good enough gym to you know, get a slap in the wrist if anything like that happens. Joe will make sure I train. Joe knows Jimmy Kelly very well. And uh, you know, Joe will make me train and Joe will get everything, get everything spot on in, in camp. But you know, my point of view is, was, yeah, he tried to pipe up. You know, I picked you and I picked you for a reason because you know, it's, it's a win all day for me. And I see one outcome. And you know, I kind of rubbed it in him saying, yours was, was his wages for Christmas because that's what this fight is. And when you saw him in the, at the press conference and when you did the, uh, the, one of the longest head-to-heads I've ever seen at the face-off, you seemed to have that smile you reserved for opponents in the ring. What was going through your mind then when you were having the face-off? Uh, no, I never smiled really because, you know, they are what they are, they just face-offs leave, leave them to it. But then, you know, I knew, I knew you know, how many people he brought to the first press conference, you know what I mean? I just knew, said you can be brave now. Reality lit home, close to the fight. And, you know, I just smiled thinking, silly man. But, you know, they, they piped up, they had a few things to say, him and Ensley, they always do. But, you know, I know I know when you look into it, I could have made a bit of a bit of a show of them then. You know, Ensley just sat with Joe Gallagher at the last show and said, well, we know we're not ready for Liam. And then a couple of weeks later, you're fighting me, so you know, your coach knows you're not ready for me. But you've been offered, he's saying, yeah, we took the fight. You're bound to take the fight, you're getting off the world title in your home city. You know, you're not going to knock that back. So it's, it is what it is, but I do 100% I'm right about Lee Beard, I promise you. I'm right about Lee Beard. You just say what Lee Beard is. No, Lee Beard, he has to say he's his manager, but he's his new manager. You know, he's only been with him quite, quite a thing again, quite a little short period of time. And, uh, you know, that's why I replied to Lee, no way, you, Lee, you don't think he beats me. I know for a fact Lee Beard deep down knows he, Jimmy Kelly doesn't beat me. And that's what I meant by him. I know Lee's got to say, I do. But I know deep down, and he's never going to admit it, but. I think inside he's laughing because he knows. If he rates me, how much he said he rates me, you know, spared a lot of his lads, and you know, he always gone on on about me. And I think my style of fighting is what he likes. You know, he's, he's a lot with the American sadly be it. So I, I know if he rates me, how much he's gone on about then. There's no way he thinks Jimmy Kelly beats me. Certainly not now. It's the first Liverpool managed a world title fight for 80 odd years. Does that add a bit of spice to it? To a point, yeah, there's always going to be that rivalry with Liverpool and Man Manchester and, you know, especially Man United and Liverpool. That, that, that's always had the football rivalry for years, but from my point of view, I just take my mind off that. It's a world title fight, it's in Manchester and say, you know, I'll have more or if not just as many as him, you know, in Manchester. And, uh, you know, it's his backyard, but, you know, it won't be on December 19th. I'll, it's a happy up and ground for me at the moment. I've defended a bit of title there. I've won a world title and I'm going to defend my world title there. And you've been stopping most of your recent opponents. Will this be a stoppage or are you going to be yep. going the distance? No, nope. I'm going to stop Jimmy Kelly as well, make it seven on the bounce. I'm trying to catch my brother Callum, he's had an hour, so I'm going, to make, I'm going to 100% stop Jimmy Kelly. This rivalry with you and your brother is always some, some sort of friendly rivalry, isn't there? Yeah, exactly. And you know, Jimmy Kelly has picked the wrong time to fight me. The confidence in the full family at the moment is going, going into it. And, you know, from me alone, my confidence and, you know, my run of form, Jimmy Kelly's picked the wrong time to fight me anyway, but, you know, who's going to want to go into it and fight us on the back of, you know, Stephen stopping the final eliminator, myself win the world title, Callum stopping Rocky Field in one round, the next one's me, December 19th. Who's going to want to, you know, jump in the way of that? And, you know, Jimmy Kelly's going to feel a full force of it on December 19th.